Charlie Morris bagged us the second five-wicket haul of his first-class career as Worcestershire had the better of the opening day of the LV County Championship match with Somerset at New Road before they lost two wickets of their own late on. Put in, Somerset looked to their informed skipper Marcus Truscothic to continue where he left off in the shock defeat to Middlesex last week. It's not often in his long career that you will have witnessed Truscothic look in so much trouble against a delivery like this one. After a long while, the umpire finally sent the batsman on his way for 10. Morris delivered an outstanding opening spell of 11 overs with just the rare poor delivery. This one was pulled for 6 by Tom Cooper. But Morris grabbed his second wicket in his 8th over, Johan Myberg on 11, nicking off with a total on 50 for 2. Morris, who took 52 wickets in his breakthrough season last summer with a best of 5 for 54 in Derby, had a third here when Cooper, who'd looked good for his 30, went in a very similar fashion to Myberg. Jim Allenby has struggled for form since his move from Glamorgan and, still in single figures, he edged Morris to Daryl Mitchell, the 22-year-old ending his spell with figures of 4 for 34. He had quickly put his side on top. Both of these teams have lost their first two four-day fixes of the season and a third on the bounce would be as bad a start imaginable. Thankfully for the visitors, James Hildreth in excellent touch right now and Alex Barrow did put on 61 runs for the fifth wicket, a partnership which the visitors desperately needed to improve their position and their confidence. But with a total on 132, Barrow, with 26 runs to his name, was well grasped at slip by Mitchell and Worcestershire were back in business. Even more so in the next over when Hildreth fell for 41, following in a similar vein to others before him. Joe Leach the successful bowler this time, however. Leach, not much more than a medium pacer, even found enough bounce to force Peter Trigo to leave his periscope up and to offer Mitchell some catching practice. That left Somerset on 169 for 7 and in some bother, with Jamie Overton missing this game through injury, his twin brother Craig was brought in and he showed, as he did last year, that he can bat. He gave no respect to an international spinner driving Sachitra Senanaika down the ground for the second six of the day. Lewis Gregory too showed again what a useful all-rounder he is, as he and his partner added 52 runs for the eighth wicket just to hold up the home team for a while. But both men were out in quick succession. On 30, Gregory loosely drove Leach into the covers, before Overton, with an equal top score of 41, gave Morris his fifth wicket, the majority earned by putting the ball right in the corridor of uncertainty. That gave Ben Cox his fifth catch of the day. At 227 for nine, it looked as if Somerset would fail to earn anything more than a single batting bonus point, but Abdurrahman and Alfonso Thomas, in his first game of the campaign, did add 23 more for the last wicket to grab a second. Jack Chantry then finished off the innings by having Rahman held at a well-placed leg slip. Somerset were all out for 250, Morris with figures of 5 for 71. All but Allenby had made it into double figures in the Somerset innings, but none had made it to a 50, which suggested that either their batsmen had given it away or that this was a pitch where the bowler was always interested. And after Mitchell had struck that early four in reply, Gregory found the leading edge of Richard Oliver's bat, giving the bowler the chance to complete the dismissal. Oliver was gone for three, while Tom Fell had only a single run when he was undone by some extra bounce from Thomas before offering Trigo a simple catch. Deliveries like that suggest that 250 wasn't a bad effort after all. Either side of a break for rain, Mitchell and Alex Skidman would have been happy to see at the remaining time. It's a game which has already moved on at a pace and one which should continue to do so on day two, which Worcestershire will begin on 35 for two, trailing by 215.